What's up fight fans? Welcome to my channel. This is Johnny. Today we're going to be going over the statistics that nobody talks about when mentioning a potential fight between Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. Guys, I need your help. I'm doing this video with a bit of confusion because one day I'll wake up and we want to see Canelo fight this person. The next day I wake up and we want to see Bud Crawford fight this person. The facts are this. Bud Crawford this August in LA is fighting Israel Majumov for Israel Majumov's title at 154 pounds. We've heard this before. We know Bud wants to become undisputed in three weight classes. We also know last week that Canelo Alvarez took Jaime Munguia's O. He remained undisputed at 168 pounds. We saw he had a little interaction with David Benavidez after the fight. We know Benavidez is fighting on the undercard of the Tank Davis fight, Vostick at light heavyweight. Okay, a lot of crazy stuff going on. Have I caught you up? This morning, I wake up with breaking news. One of the benefits of living in Sydney, Australia, when I go to bed at night, you Americans are sleeping. And when I wake up in the morning, all the breaking news, it's almost like Christmas every morning. I wake up and I find an alert that says, Turkey al -Ashik, the main man in charge in the Middle East, announces that he's going to put together a fight between Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez towards the end of the year, either December or early January of 2025. My question is, do we want to see this fight? Is this who we want to see Bud fight if he beats Majumov? Because, you know, is he going to stay at 54 or jump the line and go to 68? Also, we want to see Canelo fight Benavidez at 68. Does Benavidez beat Vasek at light heavy and come down to 68 to fight Canelo? Who do we want to see with these matchups? So I'm going to play the role of matchmaker along the lines of what Turkey al tweeted today, and we're going to take a closer look at the last few fights between Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez and see how they match up. Firstly, let's look at Bud Crawford. Bud Crawford is 40-0 with 31 knockouts. He's ranked number one in the world in the welterweight division. That's 147 pounds. We know that he is undisputed at 147. He took all the belts when he beat Errol Spence Jr. He's 36 years old and the American is a southpaw standing at 5'8 with a 74 inch reach. He last fought last July against Errol Spence Jr. And when he fights this August against Majumov, he's gonna be out of the ring for over a year. He beat David A. Venetian, who was 29 and three via knockout. He beat Sean Porter, who was 31 and three via knockout. Kell Brook, 39 and two knockout. Mean Machine, 21 and 0 knockout. Guys, we've seen Bud Crawford dominate at 135. We've seen him dominate at 40. We've seen him dominate at 47. There's nothing that we've seen in Bud Crawford's ability that's gonna tell us that he's not gonna dominate at 54. But will he be able to carry the skill set, the stamina, the strength, and the power if Turkey Yalashik gets his way and he makes that Crawford versus Canelo fight at 168? Will Bud still be as competitive in that weight class? I don't have these answers. Let's take a closer look at what Canelo Alvarez has been up to. Canelo Alvarez is 61 2 with 39 knockouts. He has a career 64% knockout to win ratio and he's currently the number one fighter in the world at 168 pounds. We know he is undisputed 168 and he last fought last week against Jaime Munguia and took Munguia's O. Canelo's 33 years old, standing at five foot eight with a 70 inch reach. Before the Munguia fight, he fought Jermel Charlo, 35 and one, UD. John Ryder, 32 and five, UD. Triple G the third time, UD. Dimitri Bivol lost a 12 round decision. He was daring to be great. Dare I say the same phrase that all the other fighters and promoters and fans say, if their fighter went up or went down, challenged themselves and lost. Well, there's no humor with that statement. I'm being serious. With Canelo though, it's something I did a video about last week. We talk about his power hasn't carried with him later on in his career because he's not finishing guys. That is not true. We got to see with that beautiful uppercut setup when he dropped Munguia the first time in Munguia's career, we got to see what the power means to Canelo. He's not finishing guys, but he's changing the trajectory of fights with his power, and we've seen him do it every time he's fought. Canelo will get a knockdown in almost every fight. Now, if Bud Crawford beats Majumov and that fight happens at 68, and Canelo waits for him, and they fight somewhere in December or January 2025, how would these two match up? When you look side by side, Terrence Crawford's gonna be a little bit older. 
but Canelo's ring years, way more experienced than Bud. You're gonna see a Canelo who's used to carrying that weight. He's gonna be a little bit more bodied up over his career. He's fought at light heavyweight before. Bud's never even fought at 54, but the time they fight, he would have already had that experience with Madrimov. Also, Bud's the older fighter. He's the southpaw. He's a technician. He likes switching stances. Canelo likes getting into range, setting his jab up to work the body. We've actually never seen Bud get worked too bad. We've never really seen him get hit too much. We've watched him get staggered a couple different times, but never really been hurt. We know he's a dog. We know Canelo wants that same exact fight. If this were to go down and Turkey Alashik gets his wishes and all of the Bud Crawford fans gets their wish and all the David Benavides fans get upset, who are you taking, Bud Crawford or Canelo Alvarez? Let me know in the comment section below.